Dynamic data in Oxygen allows you to design templates that dynamically display content from the posts, pages, or custom post types that those templates render. This can include the title of those posts, the content of those posts, meta fields, or content from advanced custom fields or tool set, both of which we have an integration with. So let's jump into the back end and I'll show you what I have set up. Here we have a list of properties. This is a custom post type. And if we jump into one of these, you'll see we've set up a bunch of advanced custom fields with data about the property. To render this, we're going to set up an archive template that renders a list of properties. So let's jump into that template and we'll edit with Oxygen. Now that we're editing our properties archive template, we're going to add a section and a repeater. The repeater is a visual loop builder that allows us to insert elements and pull dynamic data from the posts that are being queried. We're going to do a two column layout. So let's throw some columns in here and we'll make them 50 50. And then for the left column div, we're actually going to set its background image to the featured image of each post. So we'll insert that. And then we're going to adjust the background size to cover, set the left and top to 50% so that it's nice and centered. Let's go ahead and go to advanced size and spacing and set the min height to something like 300 pixels. Perfect. Now within this div, I'm going to add a heading and this heading will be the title of the property post. So let's double click that and we will go up to the top bar, insert data, and we'll choose title. So this will be the title of the property. And let's change the text color to white and let's add a bit of padding around it, maybe 15 pixels all the way around. And let's change the background to a transparent black. Go black and then adjust the transparency down. And then we're going to select the div and just position everything in the center and at the bottom. Now let's jump over to the right side of this column and start out putting some of the other dynamic data that is on these property posts. So we're going to first, let's adjust the sizing of this. Uh, I want a little bit of padding. Let's do like 15 pixels around this. And then we're going to go to add and let's add a div and then let's add a text element in that div. And then here we can start listing some of our properties. So let's see what fields we have available here. Double click the text, insert data, advanced custom fields. We're going to go with price right up front. Why not? Insert and then we'll prepend that with price. And as you can see, we now have the price. Okay, so we're gonna actually style this div up a little bit. We're gonna set, go to advanced size and spacing with 100%. And padding bottom is gonna be five pixels and we'll go to borders and bottom. And we're gonna set it to a very, very light gray and set it to one pixel solid. So now we have kind of a table row type of look. So we'll duplicate that and let's start inserting some other dynamic data. So now let's look at what our next field will be. We'll go to advanced custom fields and we'll go to bedrooms and prepend that with bedrooms. And then let's just throw another one in there, duplicate it and do advanced custom fields. And then we'll go to bathrooms. That's a good thing to know about a property if you're purchasing it and prepend that with bathrooms. And then let's throw one more in there at least. Let's duplicate that and double click to edit the text, insert data, advanced custom fields, and we'll do address. 
that should be enough information. And then finally, we're going to add a button here. And for the URL of the button, we'll use data and go to the post's permalink. So if we want to view the property, we can do so. Now let's change the button color to this charcoal black and change the text color to this gold. Okay, that way we match our header. Now we can uh, add some spacing above that and below the div, do 30 pixels. And then that looks pretty good. Now let's style our uh, div a little bit that contains our columns element. So we're gonna go to advanced size and spacing and let's, let's add 15 pixels of padding around that. And then let's change the background color to something a little different, maybe a slight off white. Okay, and then we're gonna go to advanced borders and we're gonna set a four pixel border radius on all sides. And then we're gonna go to advanced effects box shadow and do a slightly transparent shadow here. So let's drop that down quite a bit and set it to zero. Uh, horizontal offset, zero vertical offset, uh, 25 blur and negative 10 spread. And then make sure it's not inset because we don't want that. And then under advanced size and spacing, we're gonna add 30 pixels of margin, I think, and then there you have it. So now let's take a look on the front end to see how this dynamic data is being rendered. Now again, note that I only designed the first listing. Uh, but if we look on the front end, you'll see that every single listing has different data listed from the post, different titles, different images, and different permalinks for the buttons.